It's normally not a good thing to see fire trucks at the airport, but today it's an ounce of prevention. Don't point it down and plunge it. It's just like plunging a water stream in. It will pop up. Getting hands-on with fire extinguishers at Bravo Flight Training. It was an obvious opportunity for school owner Brenda Tibbs. Well, one day I heard somebody talking about taking the pin out of the fire extinguisher and I thought, Oh, I've never taken the pin out of a fire extinguisher before. You hope to never have to, but getting hands-on experience is a common theme with dealing with aviation emergencies, so Brenda pulled together this training opportunity. This just gives us an easy environment with somebody instructing us how to do it, and we have a whole safety team right behind us. Like many things in aviation, it only takes a little bit of training to become proficient, and it could save your life. And the training's pretty cool. The takeaways? Know what kind of fire you have and use the right type of extinguisher. Start at the base of the flames and then use the stream to knock out the fire. Sweep back and forth. Now, you don't have unlimited spray, so be as judicious as you can. Again, try to know the type of fire you have and use the right unit. Getting it wrong can cost you. Say the magnesium renovators on a Bonanza were ablaze. If you hit it with water, it's going to make it worse. It's all about training in a non-stress environment to gain knowledge on which to fall back <laughs> and to build relationships among these aviators. I just think it's very important to bring everybody together like this group right now. All of these people know each other and that's because we do these activities and they all get to do fun things together. And I think that it gives them somebody to fly with later once they have their license. In Frederick, Paul Harrop, AOPA Live.